Trump's million-dollar expert, lost all credibility, judge in civil fraud trial says. Reuters. New York. Reuters. An expert witness paid nearly $1 million by Donald Trump to testify at his New York civil fraud trial. Al lost all credibility by doggedly justifying the former U.S. President's business records, the judge overseeing the case said on Monday. Eli Bartov, a New York University accounting professor, testified on deck. 7. That he did not see any evidence of fraud in Trump's family real estate company's financial statum. Entz, which New York State's Attorney General alleges overstate. Below are your comments. Wouldn't be surprised that many wealthy people and corporations doctor the books to save themselves. Money on taxes or to get better terms on loans but it doesn't make it legal, ethical or moral. Before I see any Trumpsters trying to argue that the judge's remarks prove his bias, I would like to point out that because there is no jury in this case, part of the judge's job is to decide whether experts are believable or not. So if the judge concludes that Trump's million-dollar expert was no. Bartov said his invoices were paid both by the Trump Organization and by Save America, a political a session committee supporting Trump's 2024 election campaign. Mostly by Save America. Where the hard-earned money of Trump's donors go. So Trump is paying civil court case fees with donations from PACs and other political organizations? What's with that? It should not be legal. This case has nothing to do with politics. It's about his businesses committing fraud before he even served. Next news. Representative Lee leads civil lawsuit against Trump for violating the 1871 Ku Klux Klan Act on January 6. NBC Barbara Lee joins Jonathan Capehart to discuss how she's holding Donald Trump accountable for Jan. Six by suing him as the lead plaintiff in a civil suit citing the 1871 Ku Klux Klan Act, which seeks t. o. protect lawmakers from threats or intimidation against carrying out their duties. Below are your comments. People have very little understanding of just how fragile our Democrat republic really is because we can scream all we want that we are a nation of laws but the reality is that at the end of the day t. he rule of law is no more binding than a gentleman's handshake. Trump along with thousands of Ripu. He's saying the wrong side won that day, on January 6. He's saying he will avenge them. So, he's still trying to argue the 2020 election, as he runs again. He still hasn't conceded the last election. I would think, at this point, he is admitting he's the enemy of our government? And he still praises P. The antidote to Trump's endless appeals is filing more and more and more lawsuits against him. Keeps him occupied and running up attorney bills. Also allows him the opportunity to bleep off his mouth further incriminating him, leading to more and d more lawsuits against him. Trump has really crossed the line on so many levels.
I pray everyone pays attention to what Trump is saying and doing. He wants revenge on our government and anyone who has disagreed, challenged, sued him and anything e. LSE he can conjure up so bad he can taste it and he is not even a politician. Please wait a moment. Next news. Donald Trump echoes Vladimir Putin's attack on rottenness of America's democracy. USA Today. Former President Donald Trump quoted Russian President Vladimir Putin after her alleged the former P. President's criminal indictments show the rottenness of America's politics. Below are your comments. Simply A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. Donald and Putin are so in sync, truly soul brothers. Maybe even twins separated at birth. It's getting so I can't tell them apart anymore. Brings tears to my eyes when I think of the possibility of two of them simultaneously ruling over the world. Not tears of joy, but plain old. Marsha's husband, Trump is a member of elite company, rich autocrats. Trump likes Putin because he is undeterred in striking down perceived enemies and bilking Russia of wealth for himself. Compare his doctrine with Trump's and you'll find the same right-wing agenda. Elect Trump and you'll fi. This is all you need to know about the 2024 GOP. Their only goal is power and money. They do not care about people or America. The 2024 GOP platform is Project 2025 funded by right-wing billionaires. In Project 2025 the right-wing envisions vastly expanding the powers of a GOP president while at dot Wake up people. He doesn't want to win the election. He wants to lose so he can run another stolen election scam and fleece more Americans out of million s of dollars to fight the establishment again. The man is all about the Benjamins and the president's salary ain't enough for him. Next news. Joe Manchin says Americans should be concerned about Donald Trump's support heading into 2024. USA. Today. Senator. Joe Manchin, DW. VA. Said in an interview Sunday that people should be concerned about the support that former President Donald Trump has garnered. Below are your comments. You should talk, you hindered Biden's success every step of the way. You've done the American people an injustice. You wouldn't get re-elected, glad you not running again. Now you can take that big job working for the coal and an oil companies you piece of. He's exactly right, which is exactly why he should stay out of a race in which he could pull votes away from the Dem nominee and put the autocratic Trump back in office. Manchin did nothing when he could had stopped many Congress proposals objecting to them. Why is he so concerned now when he did not stop bone spurs from future office so this new charade of him would not be happening? Now talks about it. Too late and please get out of. 
Had Manchin done his duty as an American and voted to censure Trump from future office when he had tea? And E chance then none of us would be dealing with him right now. Manchin practically opened Pandora's box by condoning Trump's behavior. Big words from a big bag of something. Should his Republican competitors really hammer home that most of Trump's children have the poison? Blood of immigrants, so Trump can't be trusted? I'm just using GOP logic here. Next news. Disgusting. Chris Christie knocks Donald Trump for dog whistling about undocumented immigrants. USA Today. Chris Christie called Donald Trump disgusting over his attack on immigrants at a rally on Saturday. Below are your comments. The governor is correct in his adjective of individual one. With that being said, the border issue should be the number one issue in D.C. today. It has been a problem for decades, and so much of today's problems can be traced to the chaos on the border. I am not a wall guy, but there needs to be an effective S. I recall that Trump had illegal immigrants working at his properties. They were hurried into getting legal. Some admitted that they were illegally there. Trump said immigrants were poisoning the blood of our country. Trump used H-1B visas, meant for H. I G H L Y sublip workers. Think programmers, astronauts, etc. To bring in two unemployed models as wives. Some might try to argue that borders on human trafficking. So, don't do as he does, do as he says. I'm glad to see someone besides me is finally recognizing that Trump is still in bed with Putin. There's no doubt that Putin is making huge payouts to those Republicans that will join him in helping. G get Trump elected. Let's not forget the numerous closed door, completely secret meetings Trump had W. Chris Christie has courage standing up to and calling out Trump and his MAGA enablers. Next news. Donald Trump's escalating rhetoric makes many likely Iowa Republicans more likely to back him. USAT. O'Day. Trump statements on mass deportations, rooting out vermin on the left make many likely Iowa GOP caucus goers say they're more likely to support him. Below are your comments. Reading this article makes me wonder if America's heartland has always been inclined towards autocra, sigh and lukewarm towards democracy. I always thought of them as being the strongest supporters of American values but was I mistaken? If they show such strong support for an emerging autocrat like D. She can vote for him, but she needs to consider the potential impact on her retirement benefits and access to affordable health care that covers pre-existing conditions. History has shown that there is no more protection of abortion rights, so it's important to make an informed choice. We cannot vote. That's okay. Trump lost the last election by 7 million votes. I'm sure not all the 7 million will vote for Trump. The next election plus many Republicans have already said they would not back Trump under any circum. Stances. It's clearly not about what Trump has done or will do for them. 
Trumpers are usually at a loss when asked that question. It's all about what he says about and promises to do to the others they fear and dislike. Next news. Donald Trump said he'd be a dictator for one day. His supporters say they're not worried. USA Today. He's like a guy with a laser pointer and the left is a cat, said one voter at former President Donald D. Trump's Saturday campaign rally. Below are your comments. I don't understand the numbers speak for themselves. Job numbers were negative during G his term, th. E stock market was down, oil production numbers were low. Now we have Biden the stock market a record high, jobs up over 10 million, unemployment down at 3.4 percent, oil production highest in last eight years. Please wait a moment. These are the same supporters buying his NFT trading cards, paying the legal bills of a supposed billionaire, expecting Trump to release his health care plan next week. He hasn't done one single thing that makes me think he's a dictator. See that's the problem. They believe the election was stolen. Strike one. They think that the seven states that attempted or submitted fake electors to change the vote from Biden to Trump was justified. Strike two. Next news. Nikki Haley knocks Donald Trump, says he had the opportunity to stop the Capitol riot. USA Today. Nikki Haley said Donald Trump had the opportunity to stop the Jan. Six Capitol attack and that the tone at the top matters. Below are your comments. What Trump did that day was tantamount to declaring war on the United States. He still does not concede the election. He called off a battle, not the war. Wouldn't that make him an enemy of the people of the U.S.? Dot. The election boils down to this. Choose the constitution we've had since the nation's in. Why would he stop something he created and wanted to have happen? It's not a coincidence he called the angry violent chaotic crowd special. He loved what they did. They did it at his bidding. So then why would she support that person as a nominee? If you can't make a moral stand on that then what? Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.